Hello everyone, this is Victoria from Blue Hand Arts. Today I'm going to do some things showing you the Chinese orchid. I did some uh, research on the color of the Chinese painting for the orchid's leaves. Um, today my reference is this um, Part of a flower. I grow them in the pot, in the clay pot. See that? Uh -huh. And uh, the leaves are very strong, healthy, wide. And the one spike, the flower is yellow, kind of a, a light, jadeish green. And uh, with 10 perfect flowers. The top one is still a bud <laughs> and uh, um, I can put here later you can see both the flower leaves and uh, my painting and this the name uh, this is called the uh, uh, Symbidium family Symbidium and uh, Sinensi or Sinensi Moolan ink orchid called ink orchid the family probably the dark leaves and it's called this one it's called Wu Zi Cui that's the name for it so I'm going to do it yeah on that paper the paper I'm using is double shown it's double layered uh, rice paper a double layer with some uh, thick leaf and uh, you can see the uh, color depth of the color I will do the um, leaves first and uh, I use this um, stiff bristle brush to do the kind of the outline but the line quality need to be very um, with some rhythm, not very like print out thing. Okay, it's already wet it, and uh, okay, I just do some um, freehand thing, not very uh, just copy each one. It towards that direction and I need some this direction some short one go straight to balance it
Okay, that's about the, the leaf, the outline leaves. I'm going to take a picture. I will show the process of the. Okay, and then I will do some uh, color thing first. Because this is pretty wide, pretty wide. And I, uh, I need to kind of wash some background color. And I use this, can you see? Oh, you can see. Um, yeah, so soft bristle brush to do the color wash. So uh, wet it first. And then the first layer of it, I'm um, use this Chinese watercolor. See this one. Yeah, I would do this. See the color? Mm -hmm. First layer. Do. Doesn't it have, have to exactly fill in the, uh, the whole frame? Yeah, first, uh, first layer of color, I did uh, amber, Chinese watercolor amber. And then I will do the green. What kind of uh, green? Uh, I will use Chinese watercolor, the yellow and the indigo. Those two, indigo is kind of dark blue, right? Indigo color and the, the Chinese watercolor um, yellow to mix them together to make a green. So this kind of the green. is for um, Chinese painting and normally uh, ink painting, watercolor ink painting, we call uh, juice green, which means the green from, from plants. Let me show you what kind of uh, use indigo and the yellow. See the green. This kind of green, like a uh, juice, vegetable juice, uh, cucumber juice, or Spanish juice. You know this kind of green. Okay. Yeah. Use this green for the second layer, the color of my uh, leaves.
In Chinese, we call it zhi lü, means green uh, juice from green juice like green. <laughs> Sometimes um, when I color, the color uh, is too dry, I use this um, uh, dripper to give like a one drop of water. I mean water dropper. Okay, so now the color with some uh, green on that, juice green uh, on the amber. You can make the uh, whole thing together more even, but I don't like, I just do every stroke uh, a mixed individual. Okay. And then I'm going to use the color of um, we call the dark green. The Chinese word, what color? Dark green. This one I'm going to use. This color is a uh, kind of the opaque color, so can um, cover the color underneath. But still, I think the it shows. A little bit, because not one hundred percent overlapped cover. It's still wet. And uh, the paper is absorbent.
I still use the pressing and the lifting for better working on the one stroke. I still use this technique. If you feel too smeary, sometimes you can use your uh, paper towel, paper towel, to uh, block it. Just stop the smear. Double, double rice, double short rice paper, because of the thickness mm. is less smearing than the single one, than the thinner, thinner one, but it's still smearing. Um, I don't really mind. This is the signature of the Chinese watercolor painting. Here um, we say um, stroke, stroke, stopped it, but actually didn't stop from the line. But the chi energy um, is connect. So uh, kind of the, a little bit twist side view of this connection here, or this junction here. Yeah, that's a, about the color of the uh, leaves. And later I will do some beans. Now it's too wet. I hope you can see. Yeah, that's the color about so far I work. I didn't do spike the flower yet. Actually, uh, Chinese painting for the orchids, we are more concentrated on the leaves, <laughs> the gesture and the ink work, stroke work. And uh, this color, um, the same is says Chinese painting. Normally, we concentrate on the, uh, the ink, water and the ink. But if you use some, uh, some color, Chinese watercolor, need to be very uh, elegant. So classic elegant. <laughs> Uh, not very bright and uh, not very, and I don't know how to say, anyway, um, the tradition is called uh, classic elegant. <laughs> so um, that's the um, process I do for the color on the leaves. Yeah. Amber plus juice, green and uh, opaque green on the top. Now I'm going to work on the spikes and uh, with the flower.
flower petal, I use the uh, green yellow to do it, but so green yellow, the light color first, and then see this color. Mm -hmm. Then um, I will dip a little bit of ink on the top, on the tip, and then give the. Otherwise, it's really bored. Especially see on the top, the butt is kind of. Some flower this side and some that side and some like kind of a cross the center spike. Very fragrant. <laughs> okay, I think that's how much I did for the uh, flower. Now the leaves is kind of uh, it's getting dried, so I do back and forth. Sometimes the leaf and the spike and work on. And then I need to do some um, like a vein like thing on the leaves.
some line and never count some hints. Okay, uh, that's about the wings. And now on, um, I want to do. the center of the flower thing. Um, some amber, some yellow. to be dark and some some ink So now I made some dots indicated the center of the flower thing. And uh, some here I still got I got some room here and uh, I do some like the little weeds underneath I mean not underneath um, at the bottom and the rooty part to help this plant grow yeah because I use some tree bark supplements the little rock and some um, potting mix for the media for this plant and uh, some uh, moss some weeds on top to, top to make the moisture. So I will simply uh, wash something indicated the media here.
and uh, some kind of the weeds here. <laughs> Yep, um, that's about it, and I'm going to sign it. Chinese lunar year for the red and and my name. And the name chop rubber pad underneath and use maxim. Ink pad for the name chop seal. Yeah, make sure every stroke everywhere get the ink. Make sure each stroke, every corner, touched. And then one hand hold the paper. Lift. Go. Now continue with them chop and uh, uh, the signature. Thank you for watching. Okay, this is the study of the color, green color on the Chinese painting for the orchid leaves. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching. Bye bye. <laughs>